Hey folks, Megaton Matt here. Got Megaton Travis on the line. We're at IG Game Center today. A slightly unusual time. There's just a lot darker in the room that I'm in. Um, we are going to be playing Neutrico. That is the best of my ability in terms of pronunciation. Um, now, essentially what Neutrico is, is one player plays as black, one player plays as white. You may move the pieces orthogonally or diagonally. And the goal is to line your three pieces. It's basically connect three game with a draft mentality movement. Obviously, uh, draft variant mentality movement, since drafts typically only move diagonally. Um, seems pretty straightforward. Looks like a lot of fun. I especially like the alternate, not alternate, but... Um, so they only move diagonally or orthogonally until they reach a wall or another checker and they stop there. They can't stop before that. Oh. Yeah, so that'll be really interesting. Um, I will be excited to see where this goes. Let's find out. I don't really know too much about this game. I know it reminds me a little bit of Tico. I think that's what it was called. But uh, Either way, I think it's great. Seems like you could play it with pretty much any age of individuals. <clears throat> oh, come on. Great. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure how you would know that either. <laughs> my question, my question is, are you on your next move? Are you going to be able to just move from B1 to B4? If you don't move that one, yeah. But I can't... The only thing I can do to prevent you from doing that then is that. Interesting. So that's this is where the uh, the only being able to move until you run into a wall or another checker comes into play. Uh, think about it as sort of magic school bus where they learn about friction, and they're trying to play baseball, and everyone's just like, oh. In our case, the checkers don't have any friction. And they're, uh... There is a variant of chess like this, but I haven't played it. But I know chess has played it. Cool. Called Great Player Chess, where the queens and rooks and bishops have to move as far as they possibly can. Ah, interesting. Or as far as, like, they're the same rules as this. They slide and... Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, well, I may have just... And what did you say that was, Travis? Yeah. He called it break failure chess. Break failure. Cool. Yeah, we should play that sometimes. That's interesting. Well, that's that, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would actually be a really interesting variant if you had the option to slide or just to move one. Try a different tactic and not do exactly the same thing that we did first last time and see what happens. Yes. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> just gotta get them once. <laughs> but it is really interesting that with Neutrico, it's like you make one slight miscalculation and boom, game over. Sorry, but folks. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, Travis, have you heard heard about the uh, the current college admission scandal, where it's like rich people paid to get their their children into college? Yes. Yeah, I can't believe. Let, let's just pause for it. I can't even believe that that is news. Yeah. I was like, who didn't know <laughs> that fucking rich people are just like, I want my kid to go to your university. Here's my money. And people are just like, yeah, all right. Yeah, Justin and I talked about that last night. And he mentioned people. I only knew people. There's one family at the school of music that I know just donates to the school of music. Yeah. And they had like three of their kids get in that played stringed instruments. Uh huh. And it, I mean, it was it was pretty well known that yeah they they like. <laughs> I don't know. Now for the for those of you listening or watching at any point, the important part of this is not that we all knew about it and didn't think it should be illegal. The point is that we all knew about it and figured like, oh, it's probably illegal, but when it's the people like making the plays, you can't do anything. So I guess I'm glad to see some degree of accountability, but uh, let's go after some heavier hitters, huh? I respect that. I respect that. Well, I mean, I guess the shooters are stopping at the how do, I I haven't even seen you go yet. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I guess like that. What is really interesting about this variant, though, is I'd be really interested to look at like a visual representation of the possibilities. Not, not when I say that, I don't mean like clicking on a piece and looking at it, but maybe looking at like a network that shows all the various possible moves just to see, because I, I mean, take chess, for example, you have way more pieces, you have way more possibilities and it feels almost infinite in terms of the possible moves you could choose. Whereas something like this feels a little, I mean, obviously it is smaller to begin with. Oh, cool. What'd you find? I only got, you know, like 10 moves in, so I can't really, like, yeah. figure it too much out. But. Uh, you stopped my plan. <laughs> it's true. And what we're going to do is on the on the next one, I'm going to do the same thing again, and let's see what kind of other. <laughs> Actually, I do see I do see at least two things you could do to stop me. Mm. Yeah. 
If you if you move E3 to A3, if you move E3 to A3, you stop me. From that immediate move, the current move that we're looking at. Took me a while to see that. <laughs> At first, I was like, "Oh no, the one thing I was gonna do." Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Jude.
it's been a really um, symmetrical game. Well, it would have been hard. I, I figured the only way you probably could have would have been to go from a4 back to b5. Which is, boy, that would throw a wrench in everything. And probably, like, is one of the few times where taking a move back is, like, rich with possibilities. Get off the table. Thank you. Kids, man. When I say kids, I mean cats. Oh. No, we're just replaying the last. <laughs> this is our first game type two. That's true. Series. Yeah. Hey Watson, <laughs> my cat's m meowing for a reason. Oh no! Oh jeez, oh, you got me this time. That's a good point. But one thing I appreciate about this game is that uh, it's pretty easy to pick up the strategy. Good game. Good game. Good. Keep up. Yeah, we're done. I mean, we're at 18 minutes right now. We may as well yeah. put in 30. Because I looked at the next variant. The next variant, you start with like 20 pieces on the board. Yeah. It looks really interesting. I'm really excited for Ordo because they have two versions too. They have Ordo and they have Advanced Ordo. Oh. Um, yeah, but we don't seem to read the rules long term, yeah. probably. Yeah. So I got to think of something new here. Yeah, what's hard about this Epony move that I just played is that. Regardless of the direction that I go, I have two possibilities to win. So I can either come down here to E2, which leaves D1 open unless he blocks from D5. But I can also go over to E2 and drop down to A1. GG. <laughs> Though I will say the one thing that's nice is that when GG is in heat, at least she likes to cuddle. She's really sweet. And then she gets out of heat and she has to make up for all the biting that she missed. Yeah, Y'all, I, I thought that was the same thing. I don't know why. She, I, don't, I like got home today and uh, like was like, oh, weird. Gigi seems really sweet. She was like sitting on my lap and letting me pet her. <laughs> hey, Gigi. It's GG. Get off on me.
Yeah, no kidding. Man. Wild. Has it started warming up there at all? Nice. Yeah, I think it's finally supposed to start warming up here next week. Kind of, it like snowed a little bit the past two days. It's kind of gross, but it's been pretty nice during the day, like mid fifties. Yeah, which I'm sure is really nice. Stop biting me. Yeah, it's actually, it stays pretty, it gets pretty light pretty early here. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, we have to wait till the end of March, unfortunately, for daylight savings. So yeah, is it a different time? Or are, is it not six hours anymore? Yeah, it's five now. Yes, it's 6.30 right now, instead of uh, 7 to 8, which is our usual block. But that is okay with me, because I'm not doing anything else. The worst, the worst though, is when Alma and I leave. We uh, we went to a, we like went out for a little while to go see the art exhibit today, and like the minute we closed the door, Gigi was like, Wah! and this was like so loud you could hear her in the hall. Why aren't there any boy cats in our apartment, Gigi? Boy cats. You keep calling for him. Oh, I mean, did I pick the wrong one? I mean, I think you had a pretty good setup either way, actually. Not good enough. Oh, Slipping on in there. Nice. The, I don't think it had block four, did it? You, if you'd moved A5 over to E5, if you want, I don't know if we can do that. Uh, no, I don't think. No, because that, you were still threatening the other one. E2. Um, E2. Oh, that's right, because you were on E1, weren't you? Yeah. Huh. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm enjoying this a lot. This would be a really easy game. It's what, on a 5x5? Five five? This would be so easy just to, like, play anywhere, basically. Yeah. Grid in the dirt. Grid in the dirt, spit on it. Throw your spit in the dirt, move it around. Merka. I'm just playing, y'all. Can you maybe not bite me? I, I will accept kisses, but. Unacceptable? Yeah. Stop. Stop. I feel like you do have a pretty limited window of opening moves. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, yeah that's true. There's, I mean, there could probably be just like a less obvious move that could threaten something. I think I just, I think I just took a less obvious one. I kind of, my knee jerk reaction is always to like immediately. Oh, sorry, folks. It's always to immediately block. Because then it puts that pressure on you, but I guess to some degree, there's also some blocking going on. <laughs> All right, we're doing it official. Let's find out. Foiled my plan. Okay, apparently, uh, cats go into heat pretty often and can go into heat multiple so times per season. <clears throat> Only sucks because she yells like that and because she turns around and like presents herself and is like, come on. And you're like, nah, dog, you got to stop that. Man, this is going to be tricky. What's tricky is that I don't know where your pieces are going to be. If only I knew. <laughs> yeah that's why i always do that to watson because i i've gotten both luna and Gigi to like respond sometimes not it's not a hundred percent all the time Get off. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We got a bad listener over here, boys. Gigi. 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 Here. Here. Lay right up here. Oh. Oh my goodness. Put put purr. Put put purr. Oh, 
hurts so good. You got pretty close. Yeah, I also appreciate that most of the games seem to be uh, pretty close. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd say let's go ahead and cut that there. That's been about 30 minutes. Alright folks, thanks for uh, stopping by. Be sure to check us out on YouTube. Always there. Always square. Sometimes a little bit mango shaped. AKA oblong, oval. Um, be here often. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.